So how do you make big improvements in a relatively short period of time without as much effort as you would think? Now here's where I'm going with that. One of the things we talk about is off season training or even if you have a certain period of time, if you're just one of those athletes and you have a winter sport and you finish it up and it gets you into track late, even in that regard, you wanna make sure that you're taking the time to spend a few weeks to work on mobility, posture, and quality lifting technique. That's first and foremost. You always wanna establish a base, and especially if you're going from a winter sport to a spring sport, you're gonna to wanna to have some period of transition. One of the big mistakes that a lot of people make is they wanna always look at how far can I throw right now? We don't wanna always be like, how far am I gonna throw? How much can I lift right now? We wanna understand the bigger picture, right? If we're gonna build a skyscraper, what's gonna be? We wanna build an 80 story building. What's gonna be critical? You gotta build a huge foundation that's gonna support 80 floors, right? And everything that's gonna go in those floors. Your lifting program is no different or your training program. You wanna establish a base. When it comes to the weight room, you wanna be making sure like we talked about, there's a focus on mobility, posture, and lifting technique itself. When we're in the ring, we wanna make sure that we're understanding the critical fundamentals that the best throwers in the world, guys with 230 foot PRs, guys and girls, and you know the best shot putters in the world that are throwing 74 plus 75, 76 feet, which is just a few, but even those guys, every year they go back to the fundamentals. And so establishing a base right at the beginning of the year, and especially with developing throwers. So I would say if you throw less than 200 feet, you absolutely need to go back because mastering the fundamentals that are gonna allow you to build that foundation, to build that skyscraper, i.e. big distances, and do it quickly. It feels slow in the beginning, but it's not. It's actually super fast. We've shown this. I, as a coach, this is what I believe, this is what I've seen, this is what we've been able to do, and we've had exceptional results year in and year out because we always take the time to build that key base and prepare the athletes for greater stress, greater load, and the strength gains usually affect it, and the consistency see once they hit the levels. One thing I'm very proud about with our throwers is that they don't just throw, if they hit 70 feet, they don't hit 70 feet once. They hit, one of our throwers threw over, you know, 24 throws over 70 feet in competition. Uh, another thrower over 14 competition throws over 70 feet. So it's not just an outlier where you catch a throw. My 64 footers, my 62 footers, they're consistently throwing over 60 feet. You know, they're consistently throwing 64, 65 for the kids that throw 65 feet. So that's the key thing. What gives you consistency is understanding the quality of the foundation and you have that in the weight room and you have that in the ring and when you put those two together you're gonna be really happy with the results.